esta es la, esta es la, la, esta es la, la decisiva de si, si es el campeón de verdad eh, eh, Rui, de si quiere ser campeón y, y la verdad de Yasua por su derrota como viene en su mente. ¿A quién tú le vas? ¿Eh? ¿A quién tú le vas? Yo pienso que, que, que Yasua le gana. He thinks Joshua will win. It's a decisive fight for both of them in the, in, in the, in the aspect of this has to be Joshua's defining moment that he really is and was. And, and okay. it's just a, a, a skip in his career, a little, okay. a little hiccup. But, and, Ru, and Ruiz, for Ruiz, it's obviously, you know, he's got to prove that he's for real, legit, that it wasn't a, a fluke. Uh, but he picks Joshua. Wow. This is surprising, guys. Luis King Kong Ortiz thinks that Anthony Joshua will defeat newly crowned Mexican-American new crown superstar Andy the Destroyer Ruiz in the rematch. He says that Joshua will come to prove that he is a warrior. He is the champion like he's proven time and time again, and he's coming to get those belts back. Andy Ruiz, on the other hand, has to prove that it wasn't a fluke, but all in all, he is going with Anthony Joshua. So that is a surprise um, coming from Ortiz. You know, um, maybe it's a stint of, uh, of good karma in there because, you know, of course, Anthony Joshua lost the last fight. And of course, he lost the last fight with Deontay Wilder. So maybe in the rematch, hopefully that, you know, Joshua will get his bearings back. And if Ortiz can beat Deontay Wilder, we could possibly be looking at an Ortiz versus Anthony Joshua, and then you will have two big paydays for uh, uh, Ortiz. Because here's the thing, if Ortiz can get past Deontay Wilder, he doesn't immediately have to give him a rematch. You understand that? Unless it's in the contract of Al Heyman himself, <laughs> right? He does not have to give him an immediate rematch. He does have to give him one though. However, if that happens, of course, we will be looking at a trilogy before Anthony Joshua fight. But it's up to Eddie Hearn if Eddie Hearn wants to take that chance if he gets past Andy Ruiz. OK, because if Ortiz beats Deontay Wilder, he does have some leverage in some say so, at least when it when requesting for more money. Ruiz had it. I don't see why Ortiz should not have it either. OK, so if they are both of these guys are able to upset the top three or the top two opponents, uh, champions or whatever, or ex-champions, they can ask for more money at least. But that would be epic to see Ortiz take out Deontay Wilder, then take on Anthony Joshua. The fight, the boxing landscape would be epic. It would be like George Foreman taking on Evander Holyfield, you know, to, a much seasoned older fighter against a younger, stronger, hungrier fighter. You know what I mean? That would be a fight that we I would love to see myself. It's just that Ortiz, I think, is more mobile than George Foreman. George Foreman's a good a puncher, a great puncher, you know, but his, his technique, not so much. You know what I'm saying? But he was a tree trunk. He was a grizzly bear. He was a guy that it was hard to move that target. It was hard to move him and get him off his feet. You know, he was a tough customer, you know, and Ortiz is no exception. But I am surprised that Ortiz does pick Anthony Joshua. Maybe it's something that he sees about Anthony Joshua now, maybe in the training, maybe in the buildup, maybe, you know, whatever it is, because he really didn't elaborate on why he thought Anthony Joshua would win. But he d did say that he thinks that he will bring that warrior spirit into the second fight. OK, so this is something that is surprising you know, coming from Ortiz because Ortiz could have possibly been that guy. And a lot of times when you have fighters that possibly could have fought the guy that got beat, right? Like Jarrell Miller, right? When you have those type fighters, a lot of those fighters are bitter. They're so bitter because they wanted, they're, they're so egotistical because they're selfishly thinking it could have been me. Fuck Joshua, right? It could have been me. So they're still stuck on what possibly could have been instead of what could happen in the future, okay? So uh, it, it does surprise me for Ortiz. Maybe he's getting his $7 million, so, you know, he's, he's kind of chilling right now because he knows that he's, he can take care of his family with the fight purse that he's being blessed with, you know, by Al Heyman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
So, uh, which he deserves, by the way. You know, we can't overlook that, and I can't stop and can't say it enough that he does deserve the seven million because he skipped up seven million. You know what I'm saying? So it should be equal, or you know what I mean, or greater value. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Luis Ortiz thinking Anthony Joshua will beat Andy Ruiz on the rematch. In the rematch, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.